Yes, sir, it's your boy back again with a new video, guys. So, you guys follow the channel, you guys know that this morning I delivered there the Costco here there in uh, Monroe Township, New Jersey. We are currently here in uh, by Foco, uh, here in Pitts Group, New Jersey. Guys, if you guys follow the channel, you know, you would also know that I've been doing this load. Um, I think this is like either the fourth or the third load that I'm gonna do for these people. This is going to the town of Moro, Georgia, which is south of Atlanta. I think it's Moro or Moro. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Um, yeah, that's like 10 miles south of Atlanta once you catch 75 after the bypass. Um, I just got here right now. I'm cooling down the reefer. I went inside. I did my check-in. Guys, let me tell you that the weather right now, oh my God. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather. It looks sunny, clear skies, but the temperature, oh my God. I know that right now it's like 11 in the morning. I'm sure that around 2 or 3 p.m. it's gonna get a little warmer, but this morning I got up, well, no, last night I got up like around midnight. And I looked, I checked the weather on my phone and it was 60 degrees here in Jersey. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's perfect. And right now it's probably like 74, 75. And and it's 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 just a beautiful way to you know to go out and, and drive a motorcycle or something like that. Mm, sorry, but anyways, like I said, I did my check-in. I just got the car. They set up back into door 45. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. This this, this location, if you guys didn't see it last time, well, I didn't show you. It's a big location. I haven't really recorded me biking in into any of these locations because they're all big. It's not. There's no fun in in in, in big locations like that. I like to record when I'm biking into places when they're you know small places but look at all the room we have here literally you pull up front and just back back down to the back um and over there I'm going over there to that other to that other warehouse over there's the same thing a bunch of space to uh you know to back up without any issues that's why I that's why I really have been recording my backing up skills or backing up scene whatever you guys want to call it I find it more entertaining when you know you gotta when well, it's a little more challenging that's why i just when i see there's something challenging i like to record it so you guys can see the goblin in action in tight places but anyways while i said let's go ahead let's go back into our door let's go get loaded and let's get this vlog started You, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate What if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my head Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I 
I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I was Alright guys, so we are here in 301 Plaza, Delaware You guys know that I was coming here, I waited the truck I'm actually a little over on my drives I gotta move my, uh, my tandems all the way forward I mean, I'm not too over, I'm only 400 pounds which is not a lot, but it's not a lot, but it is a lot, you know, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I've been here for quite a while now. Like I said, when I got here, I waited the truck, I had some lunch, and then all I did was go to sleep. I'm gonna go ahead now, check my truck, and get this afternoon started to see how everything goes. I'm trying to make it to Kenley. I probably have, I know Virginia is like three hours. I gotta stop and exit 33, 33 to pump fuel. Um, Probably another hour and a half going down to 106. I have like, I don't know, that's, that's what, four hours and a half. I got maybe another two hours here, two and a half hours here. So five, six hours and a half, give or take, to make it to uh, Kenley. I should be good. I mean, I did sleep, so I shouldn't have any issues at all. But um, yeah, other than that, all I can say is let's go ahead. Let's do our pre-trip inspection and uh, let's get this afternoon sort of night started. The truck is disgusting, super, super dirty. I think that when I get to Kenley tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. If it rains, if it rains, it rains in Atlanta, wherever it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain, but I cannot stand looking at my truck like this. I really can't, you know? Anyways, let's go for it. against people who patented it being negative when you should be getting after it i got facts over facts over tracks this and that spitting slow spitting fast i could roast i could gas think i'm okay at last but i don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness oh reflection of the emptiness hilarious you think you're with my time you're delirious mysterious because you are behind a fake exterior inferior you know i'll always be a bit superior get off of me this ain't no humble brag i want you to hear words you can say them back i want you to feel free from the chains that last and to believe in what you got it was built to last yeah Currently here in uh, what is this? Stony Creek, Virginia. Pumping some fuel. Got three quarters here. That means I got three quarters on the other side as well. I'm gonna be filling up the whole truck and the reefer as well. That way I can go ahead and, and have plenty of fuel for my next load. I was I was gonna do the math. I know I pumped eight hundred dollars over there in West Virginia and I pumped $500 in Knoxville, Tennessee. Let's see how much I pump here. And that's gonna be, I guess, my total, right? Because that's what I've been doing. I was pumping here, I was pumping in West Virginia and I was pumping in Knoxville. So now when I pump here, I'm gonna add everything up and more or less, <clears throat> that's the same, that's gonna be the money I'm gonna be spending, um, you know, the round trip. is good my low bars are right here <coughs> so yeah guys like I said I'm gonna be adding everything up to see how much I'm spending round trip because what I was doing is I was pumping fuel and then I wouldn't pump again till I was back in Knoxville so we'll see I don't think I'm pumping over two over two thousand dollars hopefully I hope not <laughs> Oh, 
Next day here. Finally getting the baby washed because man, he was dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. I need on my truck that's exactly what I need on my truck I need that and I need those stacks eight inch straight cut you already know you already know that board wrapping see that's the panel I like polish not painted Badass truck. Badass truck. He has some pretty good mirrors as well. Huh? Work in progress like every other truck, but that's fine. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Got the whole lineup. W9, my Peterbilt. My buddy's Peterbilt back there, the black and purple. Everybody's shining, everybody looking good. Can't complain, can't complain. See, when you ride like this, when you ride in style like this right here, it's a whole different level, guys. A whole different level than compared to when you ride on um, something like that. No offense to the ones that drive something like this, it's just that when you ride something like this, it's a totally different feeling than riding a modern truck, you know? You get a totally different attention. You get totally different attention when you ride something hood or something classic. I'm sure that the ones, the guys that drive classic trucks can agree with me. All right, guys, so um, we are about to leave here, Kennedy, running out of the road. That is a black and purple P. 
we're gonna leave with the W9 as well. Check out the Goblin, looking good. Not 100% because they didn't do the best job here in Kenley, but I mean, she was real dirty, so I really can't complain. Uh, what else, what else, what else? But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, we're, we're about to ride out. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take uh, 95 South. We're gonna take 95 South. He's going, one of them is going down to Orlando. The other one is going somewhere in Georgia. I'm going towards Atlanta. So I'm gonna take, you know, exit 169, then make, you know, take I-20 going east, I mean going west, I'm sorry, and then south on 75 in Atlanta. six hours and like 45 minutes away from my destination it's gonna be the same location i've been going to the past three weeks or two weeks or something like that um yeah just trying to make it there as early as possible that way we can rest the whole night without any issues at all i was gonna say something oh i want to send out a huge guys a huge 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 shout out to uh all the guys that saw me today here in Kenley, you guys came up to me, said what's up to me, I want to send a huge shout out to you guys, you know, for the love, for the support, man, you guys are killing it, don't stop, like I said before, guys, if you guys see me out, and you guys literally see me, don't be shy to come up to me and say what's up, if you guys want a picture, I don't mind, but, you know, I don't mind doing that either, I mean, I've had a lot of guys actually come up to me and take a picture of me with a truck and stuff like that, I don't mind, you know, um, if you see me sleeping, or if you don't see me inside a truck, you know, that's a different story. Don't go, don't go and wake me up because I'm probably dead asleep. But if you see me standing outside the truck or sitting down in my seat, don't be shy to come over and, and say what's up to me. With all that said, let's go ahead. Let's get this day started to see how everything goes. drop the trailer do the same process park up front the same stuff we've been doing for the past four weeks so i get here right i'm looking at the truck check this out the latch i hope you guys can hear me the latch on this door broke off so now the inner the inner latch inside it broke so now i gotta go ahead and, and close the doors and tie it up with a damn bungee cord which i hate i dislike having that black bungee cord on the button 
I mean, it is, it is, it is what it is. So we're gonna have to do it because I can't uh, be like this, right? So yeah, let me go ahead, tie yourself first, then disengage the truck and the trailer and drop it right here. All right, guys, so finally picked up my trailer, got unloaded, everything is good. I just parked outside right here at the Fresh Express. I wanna park here for a few minutes so I can sign in my paperwork and uh, you know, do what I gotta do, figure out what's my next move. And I guess after that, just head out. Um, I don't have another load till Thursday, so I'm probably gonna go to my buddy's house, sit around till Wednesday night and then I'll head out to Wednesday night, go to the chicken plant. We have the big mess here. You would think that, you know, if you're unloading a trailer and you have all those bags that were there to secure their load, they would, you know, take the, take the damn bags out, but you would think. Unfortunately, they didn't, you know? So it's our job now to clean it up. It's all good. Won't be the first time or the last. Chug is decent, not perfectly clean, like I like it, but it's pretty decent. I know the truck was super dirty when I went to wash it, so I'm not even gonna get mad at it, but it is what it is. All right, guys, so like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna relax here for a minute. I'm gonna send in my paperwork to my factory company. Um, I guess I'm gonna take a few minutes as well to see what's my next move. I don't have a chicken load to Thursday now. I've been going back to back, but this week I guess it, it was a, a slower week. I guess it could change. She did say that my next load was for Thursday, but I said, she also said that it can change um, depending on, on, what, on what happens throughout the week. So I do wanna stick around in the area just in case it changes. Boom, I pick up the load and I'm heading up again. Um, now, if that doesn't work, then I guess that I'll be in my buddy's house tonight. I'll go to my buddy's house. I'll be there. I'll be there by tonight. Just relax. And then tomorrow morning, I'll probably go ahead and do some stuff to the truck or see what's what or, or something like that. So yeah, once again, I want to take a quick second to thank you guys all for the love, for support. You guys are killing it. Shout out, like I said before, shout out to all the guys that went out to Kenley. Uh, I mean, you guys didn't go out to see me. You guys went out there to do what you got to do but i was there but shout out for you know actually going up to me and saying what's up and and you know having a few words with me and stuff like that that that, that, that for me uh you know just knowing that there's people out there that really admire what i do it's uh it, it feels real good it feels real good because that was the whole point of my channel i said that if i was gonna do a channel it would always be to help out people in in one way or another so Either it could be for entertainment, it can be for something that I did to the truck and you guys want to do the same thing, you know, for whatever it is, you know, just the fact that I know there's people out there that really admire what I do makes me feel good, you know, it makes me feel um, like I'm, I'm doing a little difference, you know, so nothing. Once again, that is all that I got for you guys today. Thank you for the love, for support, peace. Don't forget to subscribe and keep on trucking.